Welcome back to TKO Fight Sports. We are very lucky now to be joined by the Prince himself in preparation for 15 February. Prince, welcome aboard. Thanks for having me. Very excited to have you back. I reckon the best segment we did in the first series was when you came on after you spin kicked that poor bloke in the face and talked about Van Damme, talked about Chuck Norris. It went way off track. So we're going to try to keep it a little bit on track today. And let's start with 15 Feb. Talk to us about what you and your fabulous team have put together for us. Uh, we're, uh, we're trying to put on the biggest card in the Western Suburbs. So you know, we've got the lights, camera, action. We've changed the layout this time. So we've got a big walkway Lovely. like the older shows used to have. So we've got a big walkway to their ring. Um, Big heavyweights, you know, up and coming fighters. We've got a couple of boys from my gym on as well. Um, but just, I just want good fights, mm. and it's very hard to match fights in Melbourne. It is. No one tell wants me to about fight it. anyone. Oh, tell me about it. So, Before you it say is. something, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm talking okay. to Prince. Okay. I want to give you a chance to um, talk about all the people that work behind the scenes <laughs> here, because obviously there's a lot of people put a lot of work in. So now is your chance to shout out to all the people that make this happen. You've done this to me last time too. <laughs> Only because I can feel someone looking at me. Well, uh, it's Prince Promotions. I'm the Prince. Obviously, I'm the poster boy. My wife. <laughs> <laughs> you knew I was going to say Your wife like. is deaf staring you so badly right now, it's not funny. <laughs> sure, she can't go anywhere. Where's she going to go? Um, nah, she does all the work. I don't even know any of the rules. I don't know nothing about promoting. I just, I, I know all the fighters. I know the game. I know everyone around it. So, it's kind of a good combat. She does all the hard stuff and I do all the whining and dining and and the interviews and stuff like that. You this. just go live a lot. I go live. <laughs> good. And actually, look, I'll tell live. you what, one, the good thing about us is this promotion is you're a young promoter in the world with your lovely wife. Um, you've got a vision of what you want for your show and you can tell now over the last, uh, this being your coming, third show coming up, it's, it's improved after the two shows mm. amazingly um, and Feb 15th, new layout. It's going to be good. Well, the first show, my, our first show was May last year. We had Camille Barlow on main event. We did, I think, just under a thousand people come. Wow. That's the cool. last show in November, I fought Cyrus Washington, That's main right. event. World title? Yeah, yeah, I won a world title, which is good. But um, obviously kickboxing is dying. Everyone's doing K1 or Thai. And yep. Me and Minnie, obviously, we're the only kickboxers. There's about five of us left in Melbourne. We're a <laughs> dying breed. So any kickboxers out there, anyone out there, just say yes to a kickboxing fight with no knees, no grappling, just punches and kicks. So actually, because I want to ask you, show one, you're a promoter, you're a co-promoter. Show two, your main event yeah, slash promoter. That was hard. Coming into show three, being a promoter again, what did you prefer in the first two shows, being there as a fighter or as just a promoter? The tickets sold a lot easier in the second one. We got probably 1,300, 1,400. But personally, there. besides the bankroll, <laughs> besides the, the bank, bankroll, I'm saying, obviously what the hardest did you prefer it, yeah. as, a, as a person? Did you prefer going into the event, training hard for a fight, cutting weight, still eating pancakes, or being a promoter, <laughs> doing all the plugging and still eating pancakes? What, what did you prefer? Um, pancake pile pancakes. champion, they call me. I, I go to Pancake Pile every week. You know. I send him the videos the week out from the Cyrus fight. I was at Pancake Pile, four stack. It still made what weight. What It's very hard to do both. It's almost mm. impossible. I yeah. almost had a like mental breakdown on that. And it was yeah. just impossible. Yeah. That, that day, that night, I was going absolutely crazy. My wife was going mental. It was The biggest problem is, what if I get knocked out? You know, that, that's the biggest problem. The yeah. show's going to go on, no yeah. problem, but... What if I actually get knocked out of my own show? There's We'd no have a lot show of content after that. to talk about there, wouldn't we? Yeah. We'd, no, we'd be in trouble, for sure. Can you talk to us about the world title fight? A big occasion. World titles, yeah. you know, they don't give them away in cornflake box cereal. Well, so. uh, Cyrus Washington's had about 140 fights. He's fought everyone. Huge. He's fought all over the world. He's had three fights since I fought him. Wow. He's won them all. So he's wow. been bugging me for a rematch. So um, we're thinking about that. I did say I'm retired. But uh, uh, is this a John Farnham retirement or retirement? Yeah, yeah. I've had about 10 of these. Um, <laughs> The comeback show. It's very, like I said, it's very hard to do both. Now, I got through one. Can I get through another? Maybe. It's just very straining, you know? Is, uh, Barry Michael talked really earlier about like, the hunger that he still has even in his you know, glorious retirement. Do you still have the hunger? Do you still want to get in there and throw down? I probably had the best fight ever in my last one. And I, I think I got a few more. But I'd say so. also when you're a fighter and you're a trainer at a gym, you still got mm. active fighters that you're holding pads right. for. Yeah, the hunger's always there because you've got the hunger for your fighters mm. to succeed. So it's very hard to get out of the sport when you're running a, Absolutely. A, full, a gym full time. It's very hard to have enough time in the day. Now, my trainer, Jay Osmond, we've got Eddie, they, they look after the fighters. So they look after me, they look after the fighters in the gym. I've got all the, you know, I'm teaching all the kids classes and yep. things like that. But mm. I've got to be a trainer, you know, a father, a promoter, a fighter. There's no time. Yeah. You know, and you just go crazy. Mm. So it is a very hard thing to do. Talk to us about the next crop of fighters coming out of Altona kickboxing. What can we expect to see over the next, you know, 12, 24, 36 months? 
Well, we've got Wilson Lay, Bruce. They call me Bruce. They we got Bruce. him back on for his third fight. <laughs> named by my good self. I'll tell you a story about Wilson. He actually lost all his amateur fights. He lost wow. the first three and they got a draw. And my first show was obviously around my gym. We had five fighters on. Everyone fell apart. Injury, pulled out something, something. So Bruce stepped up and said, you know what? I'll represent the gym. I'll turn okay. pro. We got the win. It was a good hard fight. Second show, another hard fight. Come home with the goods again. So this is the third show and his third pro fight. Well, he's got a hard fight um, from up in Cairns. We got someone, so he's actually coming good. We put him sparring at Johnny Sheeters. He's doing grouse against the better fighters than him. We got Kiki Ahuli. He's, he's he fought yeah. on power play last fun show. Yeah, he stopped the guy in the first round, That's which right. is good. So we got him coming up. We got another few guys. They'll get there later on in the year, but yeah. Good. Again, we're trying to keep the kickboxing alive. So yep. we don't want to go that K1 route like everyone else, and we just want to keep it clean, punches and kicks, and and hopefully just keep that. Style around for a little bit more, you like. know. Talk to us about the main event at Prince Promotions. We've had Susie Q on earlier. We had Barry Michael. as a cracking fight. So congrats, first of all, for getting that on. What are you expecting out of this main event? Well, Susie and I are actually distantly related. She's actually a cousin of mine oh, somewhere cool. on the lines. Don't know where or how, but we're actually related. Um, I know her since we're young, obviously, you know, family events and this and that. She's just an animal. She's, she she is, bashes man. guys, man. So, well underrated, absolutely. Um, I'm just hoping she comes and just turns it on, you know. And I said to her, I said, Suze, these are the western suburbs, you know, have your fight plan, but just go out there and batter mm. it. Just turn it on straight away. Get the crowd, get everyone behind you. You know, she should be, she should be on the front page of the Herald Sun and she's not even mentioned. So Agreed. She's the best thing we've had as a woman boxer, so I'm hoping she, she gets that leg up that she needs, gets those bigger fights, and hopefully we can get her, you know, Bit more recognition for what she's done. And credit she's 100%. QMN for getting her on there and giving yes. her the, um, the push that she needs and actually finding that opponent for her yeah. and bringing them over well, for her. That's another problem. No one to fight her. Exactly. No, exactly. Yeah, so. But I don't think it's the only in Australia that can fight her. No. no, no You've got to find, yeah. you find somewhere. It's going to cost money to get her over and it's great that you guys are doing it for mm. well, Thanks to our things. sponsors for helping us out with that. We've got MCR Security helping out. We've got Multiplum. We've got all the rest of them. Thanks for getting us. Um, we do a little coin drop noise show. there as well while we're doing that. Good work. Tell us before we let you go. Down the pipe, how do we get tickets for Prince Promotions on Feb 15? Yeah, make a call. Um, go on our website, princepromotions.com.au. Is that right? Yep. Um, call the number. Are you asking me or you know I'm that? asking my wife. She knows. <laughs> I don't know any of this stuff. I don't know any of it. Um, yeah, just give us a call. Facebook, inbox us, whatever. We're, we're pretty, we've sold a lot of tickets. You know, this, this show got such a broad range of fights. Got the boxing, kickboxing. Got a couple of uh, K1 fights in there. It's just because I've got so much variation in the show. I'm getting everyone from everywhere coming, and it's a good problem, but we just want to make sure they sell out every time so we can keep them going, get them bigger and bigger and bigger, and hopefully do a big city show one day. Absolutely. 15th Feb, Prince Promotions, get your tickets, don't miss out.